Here's all the materials you'll need for your DIY Murphy desk. To start this project, you want to measure your space. This will determine how big your desk needs to be. Your measurements may vary from mine, but I've still outlined mine in the description box below. We're going to build this table in three stages. The frame, the Murphy tabletop, and the L brackets. First, you're going to build your frame. I'm using my 1x4x3 board, which is 36 inches in length, and my two 1x2s that I've cut into two 14-inch pieces. To begin, I'm going to be drilling a screw into the two sides here, but to do this properly, I'm actually going to add a call and a C-clamp. So you want to pre-drill because you don't want your wood to split. Now that my pre-drill hole is there, I can put in my screw. This is the piece that's going to be attached to the wall to make sure that your desk stays sturdy and attached to the wall. Next, you want to cut your 36 by 20 pine board. I've actually cut it at three inches because this piece is going to be my base that's going to be against the wall and it's going to stay there. And this part is going to act as my Murphy, which is going to connect to it and then come down like this. Next, we're going to be attaching our base and our frame together. I really think it's starting to take shape. Can you see it yet? Next, we're going to be attaching our desktop to our base. To do that, we're going to be using hinges. You're going to attach three. She's on. Does she, Murphy? Yes, she does. I'm actually like, really proud of myself. <laughs> now let's build our L brackets. I've cut my one by two boards to create two 14 inch pieces and one 17 and a half inch piece and I've cut them on a 45 degree angle. To do that, I used a miter box, which helps you guide to make your cuts accurately. Now it's just time to pre-drill and drill in the screw. We have two L brackets for our Murphy desk. Woohoo! Next, we need to attach our L brackets to our board. I wanted to leave enough space to fit my hinges when the desk is collapsed, so I'm creating a one inch gap. To do that, I've attached two 10 inch pieces to my desktop. This will also act as a brace to ensure my table is secure and strong. Fits. We got L brackets that now come up and then they go whoop, whoop, desk no more. As a final step, I've added small metal brackets between my base and my frame. It's gonna add more integrity to the board and make this piece come all together. As you can see, it all folds up. So why don't we put this on the wall? This DIY Murphy desk is super practical for small spaces because when you wanna work, you can fold it up and then when you stop working, you can fold it back down and you have your space reclaimed. Now, as you can see, I've stained my desk so that it matches the decor in my home. Feel free to leave it in the beautiful pine color or make it your own. Make sure you subscribe because we've got more amazing projects coming. All the materials have been outlined below and you can also go over to our blog to find out the full steps and material list.